guys, just on my way to uh, go pick up some oil. Um, the bike was looking pretty rough. I rode it a little bit today, but um, but yeah, it, it wasn't too good. So I'm on my way to Fleet Farm right now. Going to go, going to go there, and then uh, we'll do an oil change today. I'll show you guys how to do that too. Um, it's pretty easy, but I just want to see, kind of take you guys along for that. Um, hopefully, there's no metal shavings in the cr in the crankcase. That would be really bad. <laughs> that would really suck. But you never know. So I'll take you guys along for that. Um, I think it's 10W30 we put in it. I'll have to check online, but yeah. Um, I'll uh, update you guys when I, when I get home with the oil. All right, got the oil. I don't know, this is what I got. Usually you have to change it every couple couple months, I think. Oh yeah, that's what I went with, so. When I get home, we'll see if we can uh, put that in. All right, guys, what's going on? Um, it's a new day. Here's the oil I picked up. That was yesterday, you guys could see in the vlog. I went to Fleet Farm, picked that up quick. It's a uh, 10W40. That's what the manual said to get for this bike. Um, new subscribers, this is a 1998 um, CR250. Picked it up like two days ago. I rode it quite a bit, um, but I noticed that the oil was really, really bad. So I'm gonna change that quick. It's pretty cloudy. Um, it's really, really black. So we're gonna go through here and uh, change that before I ride it anymore. I don't wanna lock it up or anything. Um, and I did notice the pipe was leaking a little bit um, because it's a stock. It's a stock shorty with a gold series pipe, but uh, it's not too big of a problem. So yeah, we're gonna get this oil cap off, drain the oil, and then go rip it around for a little bit first ride on it see how we like it I haven't really given it too much power like too much throttle yet because the oil was bad so we're gonna really give it today and see so hopefully we can do that it's getting dark out already um, it's like six o'clock here in Oshkosh Wisconsin so hopefully we can get this done in time so I'm gonna hurry up I'm gonna start up the bike um, let it run for a while to get hot so the oil comes out pretty easily and then put the new oil in. Um, I think it takes, let's see how much it takes. Uh, let's see here. Should say, yep, 850 centimeters cubed. So that's just volume, as you can see. 850, all right, so I'm gonna get it fired up and then we're gonna do the oil right now. All right, letting it warm up a little bit and then we're gonna drain out, drain out the oil after. Looking pretty good. All right, guys. Um, as you guys can see, there it is. Got the oil right here in the bucket now. Grab a bucket to drain this stuff in. Uh, I like to use ice cream buckets. It's the easiest thing to use. Um, grab your toolbox. Alright, so there's a bolt right under here. Let's see if we can get to it. Shouldn't be too bad. And it's on there. 
Okay, it's finally got the thing off. That took forever. Let me close the garage door here. See how the oil looks. Guys, that took forever to get that bolt off there. I don't think this has been changed in a long time. I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. Pretty bad, pretty bad. All right, so now I'm gonna measure out the 850 centimeters cubed, I think it was. Um, and then get it measured out, get the right amount of oil, and add it to the bike. All right guys, so 850 centimeters cubed is in ounces, it's 29. So um, it's 29 ounces. Um, and this cup right here is 6 ounces, so 29 divided by 6 is 4.8, I believe. So we're going to add 4.8, I'm just going to add like 5 of these cups, and then we'll come back. Um, let's unscrew this cap, get some air in there, get the oil in. Uh, it's almost drained completely out, slow trickle. Yeah, that bolt was tough to get off. It's awesome. But yeah, we'll be back. All right, guys. Another thing you can do is put your finger underneath this oil and just kind of rub it around and see if there's any pieces of metal in there. Um, it feels pretty good. It feels really smooth. Look how black that is, though. That's nasty. Oh. And always wear gloves too. You don't want this stuff on your hands. I just don't have any gloves right now. Just threw my last pair away. It's still draining. But yeah, if there's metal shavings in there, uh, you've got a problem. And you're uh, probably gonna have to tear the whole motor apart. Unless it's like the clutch, where you could just tear off the side cover, which wouldn't be too bad. You still have to buy that whole new gasket for it, but that's not too big of a job. I want to get riding. It's getting dark. Let's hurry up and finish this. All right, guys. So what I did was uh, filled up five of these cups, poured it in here. Um, the oil is pretty thick today. It's pretty cold out, so that's gonna take a little while to go down. But um, yeah, I still have a lot left. Oil. Probably gonna do the RM. Um, I'll do that when Charlie gets back. He's at a band concert right now. He plays percussion. In the band, so yeah, he had that for school. That's why he's not here. But uh, let's let's hurry up. It's getting really dark out. Um, let's go ride this thing. I know you guys probably probably want to see that more than this oil change. Um, and I might be getting a 450 four stroke. Fingers crossed. Um, tomorrow maybe. So look forward to that too. I might take you guys along for that. It's probably gone already. It's probably sold, but I don't want to get anyone's hopes up, like mine either because I'm pretty excited for it. But yeah, you just take that out. Put the cap on. And we're good to go. If I can get the cap on. That's all there is to it. And then let the bike warm up for a good five minutes to get the oil circulating. And then that's it. Put your, put your oil away. Back on the shelf, get everything cleaned up. I'm going to go take a ride on this thing. Hopefully that's playing. It's getting real dark, real fast. All right, let's get this bike out of here and warm it up. Oh, yeah. Now I can really rip it with the new oil in it. I was really, really afraid to ride it with that really bad oil in it. Just don't like it when that happens. Ooh, it's nice out. It's really nice. I'm gonna choke it. Turn the fuel on. 
See how many kicks it takes. Should be warm. Let's see, first kick. Oh yeah, baby. And I think Charlie decided to keep the RM instead of the, uh, the 250. Look at the snow is melting. I think we're gonna have a pretty good race this weekend. Um, we're gonna do the 250 versus 250. And then I wanna do a speed test as well. A speed test on this thing, maybe after the race. I don't know, before the race, after the race. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. But yeah, let this guy warm up a little bit. He's got the choke on. Let's turn the choke off and then warm it up. And take it for a quick ride. It's nice riding on the grass. My back wheel doesn't fly out either, like on the other 250. Not as bad. Still a little slippery out. Not horrible. Like this stuff is really slippery. It's pretty wet. Oh yeah. Let's take her on the road, so we can let her ride. Let her fly on the road. Woo, yeah, baby. She flies all right. Goes in every gear, I think. See if she likes to wheelie. She wheelies. I'm just not very good at them. That is a fast bike. That's faster than my other 250, I think. Dang. I don't want to wear out my tires on the road. I have a pretty soft tire in the back, which I like for the grass, but I don't want to wear it out right away. Good. Pretty good. Pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with it. Can't really complain. Slippery. Still like a little bit icy back here. Hope you guys enjoyed that last video. Um, seemed like everyone kind of liked it. If you guys enjoy those type of videos where I go and pick up bikes, um, leave a comment below and let me know that you like them. I'm not going to give it until the race day, so you guys don't know who's going to win. This is going to be a really close race though, I can, I can tell you that, between the two 250s. And then... And guys, I think we're going to do a race between the 250 and a 450, so that'll be pretty cool too.
So uh, I think that's gonna be it for today. Let's see if I can put her in neutral. <laughs> the heck? I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Um, if we get 10,000 likes on the last video, we're gonna buy four strokes, like pretty new ones for the both of us. So we'll have a pair of four strokes and a pair of two strokes. Um, so if you haven't watched the last video, go check that out. It's pretty cool. I pick up this bike and uh, you guys get to see that. Oh, my nose is so running. Where's the triangle stand? But yeah, if you're new to the channel, um, I'm too vintage. Uh, my brother's Charlie. He's usually in, usually in the videos too. Um, our channel's pretty much primarily us picking up new bikes every couple weeks, test riding them, doing top speed tests, doing races with different bikes. Um, we have like a wide variety of different bikes. Ducati, still for sale. I've had a couple people offer me some um, pretty good offers on it. Um, one was like 2500 Guy offered, he watched the videos. Um, he came over and looked at it. Um, this bike, I am keeping. For sure. I think it has a little bit more power than that one. I'm not positive yet. We haven't raced them. I don't know. But that one wheelie's a little bit better than that one. That, well, that one wheelie's good, but... That was a little bit more torquey. Um, Charlie, I think, is keeping the RM until we can find that 254 stroke for him. I think this one's going to go up. This one's going to go up for sale pretty soon. I think I have it on Craigslist right now. So if you guys want to buy that, um, it's up there. This mini bike. This is for sale. This white one. And I think that's it. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, um, like the videos, and uh, yeah, I appreciate all the comments, and I usually leave comments for everyone, so if you could comment early in the video, I'm probably going to leave you a comment. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and until next time, we're out.